Hey guys, Jake from Fish and Feather here. We've just had a Cade order in. I've got this behemoth of a tank here. So this is it in the box. We've already got the stand already set up and ready. So we're going to move the tank over there and pick up the video from that. It's going to be a big one. Okay guys, here it is. We've got the Cade Reef Series 2 Peninsula 1800. On the cabinet, out of the box. Now we're going to take a closer look, see its features, its special features, and why you should own this tank. So the Cade's cabinet is made from aluminium and glass, which is going to prevent rusting from the salt water, which is extremely important with large tanks like this. Now that we've discussed the cabinet, let's take a look inside of it. We'll start with this panel here. We open it up and we're exposed to 16 switches. What are these switches linked to? Good question. They're linked to your two power boards with 16 power points. This way you can run your skimmers, dosing pumps, your heaters, and all things electrical to run your cave tank. Another cool feature of the cave tank is that each panel actually allows you to access the sump, which gives you full 360 access to your sump. Yeah. Especially the front one here. This is a really good one as it gives you access to your auto topper. So this allows you to fill it up with RO water, so that way if the tank was to run a little bit dry, it's not going to end up making the pump run dry and so on. So it keeps it filled up. And here we are. This is under the sump. This is called a raceway design, meaning our water comes out here, starts here with the filter socks, then you can play around, and always ends back at this end here. This is a really efficient design, and let's run through each feature. Let's explain the raceway design. So it starts here into our filter socks. It overflows into your skimmer chamber. That's this area here. Now just on notes with that, these bins here are just for transport and stability during travel. These actually will be removed when installed. From there, it flows through into your reactor chamber. That's this area here. That then goes into what is called your media baskets. This is where you hold your biological and biochemical media, such as marine pure balls and also chado. That's really cool. And then from there, it flows into your return pump, which obviously then goes back into the tank itself. Alrighty, let's take a closer look at the media basket. So, the way this is designed, this glass panel here, that's a little bit raised higher than this one, means that when we have water coming through, it actually won't go any higher than this, meaning each basket contains the same amount of water. Again, this is where you can grow your chato and also fill it up with your marine pure for your beneficial bacteria to breed on. And then, as I said, back in here into your return pump, which actually has a flexible hose. This is going to be easy for maintenance. Alrighty, so this here is our ATO, otherwise known as your auto top off reservoir. This is where you store your RO water. Now what's beneficial about this design here is that it's actually at the front of your tank. Most other designs and manufacturers have it all the way at the back of the sump, which isn't ideal, it makes it really hard to access. But having this here, you've got three different angles where you can then fill up your ATO, which is great. And also with this sump, it is designed to run dead silent. So there's no splashing noises, no salt sprays or anything like that. Absolutely zilch, quiet. Alrighty, so the tank itself is made with 19 millimeter OptiClear glass. That's the highest clarity glass that you can get on the market. They also use Wacker German silicon. They use the clear because that has a, is a stronger bond and is actually more flexible. Alrighty, so another cool feature is that it actually has twin intakes, two intakes, that's cool. Having one at the bottom allows heavy debris that would normally just be left in the tank to actually make its way into the sump and be filtered out. This is a thing that not very many tanks, if actually any of the other tanks have. So that is a bonus to having a cave. All right guys, this here is a jump. This is included with your cave purchase. It is obviously optional for use, but sometimes when fish get spooked, they like to jump. Now, unfortunately they don't know that there's no water on the other side of the tank. They don't know what they're about to do. But including this on top of your cave tank keeps the fish in. Now that this is on, the fish can no longer accidentally jump out and everyone stays happy inside the tank. Because of the tank's huge capacity and holding over a thousand litres and it's 80 centimetre width, this allows you to let your imagination run wild in terms of how you're going to set up and skate the tank. Okay guys, that's the end of the video of our unboxing and showcasing the Cade Series 2 Peninsula 1800 tank. It's an absolute monster, but if you think this is a monster tank, then check this one out. <laughs> Okay guys, if you guys want to come down and check out this tank, the address is here, Fish and Feather and Killside. Don't be scared to ask a staff member if you're interested in owning your own giant part of the reef. And don't forget, you can leave a comment on what you guys want to see next. Give it a big thumbs up and we'll catch you guys in the next one.